All right. Hunter today. So we played three games off stream, I believe. Won them all. Uh, this is uh, the same deck that we were playing before that Sakras had given us. Except we made a few substitutions. We got rid of King Crush, got rid of Rag, added a Freezing Trap, and uh, another Sengen. Um, we just got back from our, our first shot, vaccination shot, and uh, I can feel the soreness creeping in already. Uh, so this might be a short stream, we'll see. We'll see, uh, <laughs> see how bad it hits me in the next bit. Um, that's when I got my flu shot last year. It completely wrecked me, so kind of anticipating that again. I don't know if we want tracking here. I think actually burning a bunch of cards is a, a problem in this matchup. I haven't played Shaman with this deck, so we'll see, but I, I don't know. Might have to track in turn one. I think Unleash is going to be very good, and I think Explosive Trap is going to be very good. I'm fine with an Animal Companion. Uh, being able to coin that out next turn is nice. Hopefully we can double Animal Companion Houndmaster. Sort of, oh wow, double Houndmaster. Sort of suspecting that, uh, that we're just looking for a real quick end in this matchup. Shaman doesn't typically have much or any heal. Uh, we don't either, so... Yeah, I think it's just a matter of, of bursting them down first, which I suppose sounds obvious. We kill them before they kill us, but... I think we still do want to do this. We got a Leoc, eh? I'm going to pass. I'm not sure if we want to swing here or not. If we swing, he gets to swing. Yeah. Try to be greedy. Try to maybe Houndmaster the Huffer. I'm not sure. Because he's only got two mana, so... It's not like he can lightning storm because we hit coin. Are you gonna do anything? Oh, rock biter. Okay. This is interesting. Lightning bullet hit, and he's going to take the four damage. Okay. Okay, I think that's fine. And then us playing Sengen here should be good. Followed up the Kodo. Kodo's actually been pretty good in this deck. The the one of Kodo. Interesting. So I don't know if he's just trying to race us or he doesn't know whether he's got a better target or not. Um, I guess we Kodo before we swing. Uh, better chance of hitting not the totem. It's fine. And hopefully this stays alive for Houndmaster. Okay, it's not great, but he's probably, yeah, going to throw that in, which will keep this alive. Now, we've also got an opportunity to unleash here. <laughs> okay, I actually think I like, it's not very mana efficient, which is unfortunate. 
but you're gonna get four and the big thing is you're gonna be able to take out this flame tongue and uh, we just can't let flame tongue live question is what do we do here cuz I think it's push damage there is a lightning storm risk though yeah I don't think we unleash you know what, let's play it a little bit safe. He's probably gonna trade that off for the card draw anyway, and if he's got uh, if he's got Lightning Storm, he was just gonna drop it. Get the extra damage on this, and we really want this to survive. Okay, was not expecting a concede, that's for sure. That was very strange. But I'll take it. Super high win rate with this deck, actually. And the recent changes we made should make it more uh, more effective against Zoo, which is what we were seeing just like ungodly amounts of, uh, what, two days ago, I guess. So we'll see if it's, uh, see if it's still super Zoo heavy, or maybe we're getting Druids and Miracle Rogues back, but I think it stacks up decent against both of those as well. Yeah, in the three games that we did play off stream, I, I believe it was a win against, like one against Zoo, one against uh, Druid, and one against Miracle Rogue. So, if those are the top three decks, more Shaman, different one though. We're up against Dr. Swag. Uh, we are not going to want any of these. You could keep the Buzzard in hopes of hitting Unleash as well. But I'd be more willing to do that in the case that we actually had coin. Uh, and like a fourth card, you know. But I think this is better. Hopefully we draw into one of our Hound Masters. But even just, you know, two, three into these is fine. It does look like a somewhat aggressive version of the list as well. No Flame Tongue one time. Rockbiter, interesting. And he wants to keep the bubble. Okay. Coin totem. That's really strange because usually, ah, uh, fuck, that's obnoxious though. Okay, I think we're gonna do that and pass. But usually you would coin totem if you've got a flame tongue, but I feel like if you had a flame tongue, you would have just played it and popped a bubble. It's very strange, but I think we'll just go for charges here. We got all these traps. Right, explosive trap's gonna deal some to face. It's not gonna deal with these immediately. This is why you would like a buzzard. Um But it should be alright. We can just follow up the a second explosive trap. Claim the board. Or we could even just unleash next turn to take out one health on these and this. We'll have to see. Oh, gotta get this arm moving. Jesus. Yep, my body uh, does not react well to. Well, actually, I think it reacts too well <laughs> to getting vaccinated. It's. Uh, yeah, I'm always very, very sore after these shots. So this actually probably is Unleash. Really nice that he gets the 1-1 one, one here. Uh, and we can actually do this. Kill everything. Do we want to drop a freezing trap? We're gonna swing at his face. I think we're gonna shoot here. Again, with almost no heal from Shaman, I think it's really, really good. 
And we should be able to get these down at some point. They're so cheap. I love a freezing trap here, even. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I know I want to do this. I gotta remember now. It's been so long. I think if you put... We're gonna do them both, actually. Because it's just gonna push so much damage. I actually can't remember. If you put the freezing trap up first, does it proc explosive trap? For some reason, I feel like it doesn't. But it also would make sense that it would. Guess we'll just see. Good learning opportunity. Yeah, okay, that's good. Cool. So another two damage there, another charge on the bow. He doesn't run like a random, uh, what do you call it? A totally random ooze or something. We'll just drop Harrison here. Can contest the board, trade evenly. Still get our hero power off. With no taunt, we just win in two turns. So sick. Seems pretty desperate. I doubt he's running like an Argus or anything. This is fine. We could even win here with the Huffer, so... Let's try. No. Um. Uh. There's a chance that he is lethal. I think it's actually better to taunt this. You'd love to hero power here, just so you can hero power behind a taunt next turn. Um, but he can't kill off his Sylvanas easy that way, so he'd have to like lightning bolt it or something. And I'm worried about like Doomsay or what the fuck? Not Doomsay, Doom Hammer, Rock Biter, some other kind of burst, you know. We still got five damage if uh, he doesn't get another taunt. Interesting. All right, lava burst is the only thing. It's uh, pretty goddamn good for him. And we don't have an easy way to deal with this either. Plus, he gets a ton. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. Um, I think we do this. Not sure if there's any point to swing and hit that either. Yeah, it's really gonna suck if we lose. Doesn't look like we will. Yeah, cool. Well, that was surprising. Two shamans to start the day, but two wins will take it. Next, drew it up okay. and more what you'd expect here. Now, Freezing Trap is great in this matchup. This is one of the cards I love to have. 
Oof. It's just, it's all really good removal, but you also need stuff to push damage. I think maybe it's okay just to do this. Not yeah, great. I think you're hoping to draw into a, a river croc, an animal companion, or an eagle horned bow. It's a lot of options to draw into, which is why it's willing to throw that away. Plus, you know, for just hero powering on two and three, hopefully not on four. Um, yeah, so something like this is fine. I think you do that. You probably eagle horn next turn and then drop these to the turn after. I've got the beast in the wow. Hmm. Do we hit that with the bow? Because I don't want a freezing trap. I think we do. I don't want a freezing trap and not get a charge off of this thing. I think that's a good play for him. Pushing four damage on us is a problem with us not being able to heal. Now pushing a Kodo out here though. Ooh, real nice. Prime target. And now here, I think trap's fine. I think we do that and we animal companion. You always want to be efficient and use hero power a lot, but Animal Companion here's probably going to end up being more damage. Or just eats the wrath, okay. Very interesting. I love to see this. God, this deck is great. So it dies to swipe, but we would still have a 4-1. He'd have to hero power it. That's like his whole turn. It's pretty good. Just another wrath, okay. I think we unleash Hunter's Mark. I don't think we need the Pyro Hunter's Mark. We'll do that. I think it's still good to drop Sanjin. Again, probably going to be more damage. Same swipe logic applies, but I would have thought he would do it last turn. If he had it. Lovely. Just lovely. Now, do we drop Harrison? I think so. Really don't need that explosive trap down now. Uh, there's almost no way he attacks our face anyway. It's possible that it's correct to swing here while there's no taunts up, but... Might actually need it to get through one. Oh, that's lethal. God, this deck is great and it wins so fast. Love it, just love it. Yeah, that rag play was 100% last. It was just like, uh, I do it sometimes. I think you just play it to hope that it blows something up because you're angry <laughs> at the things that are killing you. Worst. I 
Okay, see what we got. We had two shamans, one druid. Kind of a weird mix so far. All right, now we get a good old view. Which vaccine? We got the, uh, which one was it? The Moderna. First shot of Moderna. Yeah, don't think we want any of that. Really want explosive. Yeah, and unleash the hands. And usually a tracking to draw either of these. This is pretty nice. You need a second. Uh, I mean, it's like recommended that you get a second. Obviously, you don't. Uh, you don't like need it, need it. But what is it it's supposed to be like? Seventy percent effective to get one shot or something, and then they recommend a follow up later. Okay, without coining something out, we don't have to explosive trap yet. Sometimes this is really good against just two things. Um, yeah, like here we might just do it. Let me think for a sec. See, explosive trap, heat play. Yeah, I think so. And they're probably like dropping this engine, so not man efficient. Got your second. Uh, BioNTech Pfizer yesterday. Oh, F. Oh, we're fucked. At least we get to unleash, but this is not ideal. Yeah, that's awesome. They they haven't uh, they haven't opened up anything for uh, for second shots here. They just said like stay tuned for it all. So yeah, not uh, not sure. I think they they said it was going to be at least a month between them. So I'll be waiting for a bit. Why do you okay. See, I really like Sinjin here, but I don't hate Animal Companion. Hero power. Especially because you can Hound Master it next turn. There's two really good ones. I don't know. There's a few good ones. Huffer's not even that bad. You're in the US? Uh, Canada, actually. Dang. Yeah, would have preferred Leoc or Misha there. Still might be okay though. That's pretty bad. Boy, is it worth uh I think it is. It's actually a pretty strong play. Get to follow it up with the Sanjin. It's not bad. Could even Hunter's Mark uh, a Doomsayer? Though I suppose he slams a Doomsayer into the 3-5. Oh, yeah, getting that, that soreness just working through my arm now. I wanted to get the stream in like as fast as I could. When I got my flu shot uh, last year, I just absolutely crashed later that day. Just felt like complete garbage. So figured I'll stream as fast as I possibly can and then... Uh, I don't know, it might only be like an hour or two, and then I'm just like, fuck it, I'm out. Hopefully no Doom Guard follow-up. I guess if he goes face, it's not the worst thing with the Doom Guard. Whoa, that's a weak ass play. Hey, we like weak plays. God, would there be any reason not to? Uh -uh. Cause you could save the pyromancer in hopes that you would hunters mark something afterwards, but I feel like this is so strong. And then 
hopefully being able to hunt or er, uh, hound master this a second time if he's got no charge. Yeah, arm hurts a bit for a few days. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm not really worried about the arm soreness. It's just like a annoying part. It gets into like the neck, the back, all that kind of stuff. I can deal with stiffness, soreness. Took some Tylenol. It's all good. But, uh, whoa. But I always hate the, uh, just the, the tiredness, man. Feeling tired is just such a shitty feeling. These are dragons, right? They're not beasts. Damn. Oh, well, get to do this at least. Do we hunters mark that? We do this. We do that. I mean, he's gonna run that in anyway. Might give us lethal next turn. Yeah, anytime I'm like tired, it's it's just like it's the best way to ruin my day basically. I I don't know. I'm not exactly a, a workaholic, but I have like I get so stressed, so anxious if I'm not uh if I'm not like getting value out of my time, you know. So, yeah, even if it's just a rough sleep, I I get so frustrated by it. It's like, "Rasta, so this deck is to put it frankly, fucking awesome. I love it. I like. I seriously haven't lost in like seven games, and they're fast games and they're fun games. Oh, this is great. Maybe we just hit legend and then bail today. That'd be fun. Poo on the zoo. Yeah, still haven't lost to zoo. I anticipate we're going to at some point because uh, we've had some really close calls like that. But god damn it, it's just so satisfying. Okay, this is actually tough. I don't even hate coin explosive trap. Is coin explosive trap better than river croc? If we play the river croc and he hits face, oh fuck, we never have time on turn one. He's got nothing on two. We fall out with three. No, I, I don't think we pass. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think we do. But yeah, they do. They do kind of feel the same. I feel like we do something here. I feel like we'd be proactive. Because I didn't want him trading with the croc and flame imp, but this trade I like a lot more. Yeah, it's got no mana for Argus yet. We did get burned with it the last turn, or last game. Hmm. That's unfortunate. And maybe we should have coined the croc then. Now we're still gonna win. This is the the greatest deck. It's too good to lose. Look at that. Yeah, playing Crack's not amazing. The only thing is, like the three damage that he does to his own face really matters. It's kind of like. You know, he's working with us to, to burst him down. So you're trading, like, the extra mana for three damage, which is okay. Pass. Could you imagine a zoo passing on four mana? 
Okay, just draw explosive trap. Easy. Do you buzzard animal companion? Probably. Abusives runs that in. Okay, Dark Iron runs it in. He's got to trade one of these off. Because if we have Unleash, it's like so bad for him. You shall not pass. So let's draw Unleash. Alright, what has he got? 6, 8, 9. I feel like high main waiting for the Houndmaster is too slow, but I mean Buzzard Houndmaster is bad too. Three damage is a little bit awkward to get through. It would actually kill like these two. Then you have this to trade off with that. Hmm. Nah, I think it has to be the high main. Drop that. It'll draw us cards when this guy dies. Uh, are we dead? We've got five damage here. Very close to dying. Still in it, one health. We good. Right, I don't think there's a way to efficiently do it. Because I know if this dies, this gets one extra attack. But I don't think that benefits him. Yeah, I think we're still left with one. And then we just draw explosive trap. Fuck. You trade, trade, trade. Come on, trade. All good. Nice. I think that is so good for us. Freezing trap, so good. Oh my god. Yeah, that has to be the play, right? Yeah, easy. I hate it more. We're not gonna taunt one of these. We're gonna taunt uh, this guy. Oh my god, told you. The deck is too good to lose. Sakrasti, you're just... Too much of a, a deck building genius. I really think these, uh. Oh, what the fuck? Are we dead? Oh my god. Not quite yet. I was gonna say, I really think these changes, uh. help us. Man, that's a few Hellfires we've seen recently. So we don't Coda. Never Coda. We do this, this, this. I don't think it matters to Sanjin. This gets freezing trapped. But we are dead to soul fire. Oh, no, no, no. 
No, it's fine. If we're not dead, Doom Guy died. Yeah. Still think explosive cap should have been played on three. Yeah, maybe. I think coin croc ends up being better. Explosive trap on three. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I do think I should have held on to it anyway. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you pass and you play it on two. Because if he does roll out a knife juggler, then yeah, he doesn't have the. He can't coin an Argus. I'm not sure. What's the point of coin Croc? He treasure the imp that dies the explosive trap anyway. Yeah. But then you still have the explosive trap, is the idea. So then you're killing like a juggler and whatever else he dumps on the board. It just depends. Because then if he does get up to an Argus or he gets into like a golem, I guess those aren't dying. Yeah, coin's good with Pyro, too. Okay, we don't want that. Almost tempted to keep that, and almost tempted to keep that. This is tough. This can be so good against keepers, and this can be so good late game. I don't think we can keep it all. So maybe you just keep none of it. Uh, explosive traps is perfect to play when you get a two for one or more. Oh yeah, I mean it's totally ideal if you can do that. And they got no mana for Argus. Send for your protector, it doesn't matter. The light protects Sun for your protector. Oh, you mean uh, Shattered Sun? Yeah, because she dies. She can buff something else out of range. So you can have like a 4-3 that turns into a 4-1 or whatever. Sunfury would be so annoying if they ran that zoo, actually. Jesus. Well, this is a problem. So if we croc, he probably kills it with the teacher and then we have to eagle horn it next turn. So bad. But I don't know what else you do. Blech. Blech. The light protects me. Yeah, it's so bad. And he's just pushing face. Jesus Christ. I mean, I think we're just so dead here. Tracking for Mark. That's a good call. That's a good call. I was thinking of tracking, but I had no idea what you're even tracking for. Pyromancer. Well, we're not gonna need the other two. This is gonna be better. Let me think here. God, if you only had one more man, this ends up being not that bad. Because you can run that in and then hope to do this with the coin next turn and you bring that down to two and pop the bubble and stuff. It might be our only hope. Boy. Boy, it's bad. He's only got two cards, so like hopefully he's got no more buffers, but... Whatever. Sometimes you just lose to draw. We can accept that. Ah, oh, that's crazy, because you're even killing your own pyro. Ugh. I 
bump their divine shield explosive teacher goes to four the next turn pyro bow yeah we're gonna do something similar i thought about that originally hey we could pyro unleash the hounds um but i think we'll just do this coin explosive We're still very likely dead. Though. Do you I feel like you send in here? a little bit safer and you can do this with one of these next turn if he spams out lots of little stuff this is gonna be great but kind of doubt that he does Kojo? God, do we trade? We do this. I think we do. I mean, we're so low that even if we just like, like that with Savage Roar Hero Power, seven damage is so bad. has to run in there. He's probably got a spell to kill it, honestly. Swipe or another wrath or something, but yeah. But if he did have to run it in, then it could die to unleash. Looks like swipe face. Yeah. Bound to lose at some point. That's okay. If it takes that kind of draw to beat us, I can live with that. So you might have to eat a little bit here too. Rudely on stream. Oh. Mage, is this a... Is this gonna be a freeze mage? If it is freeze mage, deadly shot's really nice for the doomsayers. But if it's a tempo mage, this combo's super nice. But then, like, this is not good against Freeze Mage, generally. Like, maybe you proc that off of a Loot Hoarder or an Acolyte or something, but he can just, like, not swing, too, and shoot it himself. I feel like you need this. Split the difference kind of thing. Eagle Horn's just good, and hopefully... Get into something uh, playable. I think either way, we'd love a crack. 
Ugh. Could be good. Ah, oh, with the bow. Boy, I don't know. I'll take it. It's really close between that and Hunter's Mark. Because that's another way to just take out a... A Doomsayer. I think it's better to do that than drop that. Because we're probably playing this on three... Really not sure it, if this is Freeze Mage, which it probably is. I'm not sure how this will stack up. Ice Block is a really, really, really big problem. But we're also a pretty fast deck, so like he might not be able to get up to Alex Draza to burst us down. If we if we draw well. Yeah, that. It yeah, looks like Freeze. I don't know if we hit this thing. The only problem is like a spell powered frost bolt. But I think I'm comfortable with that risk. He might fireball this anyway. Yeah, it's a spell powered frost bolt, damn. Okay, well this is, that's uh, not great though, because he probably just shoots it himself, but who knows. I think we have to do that though, because if we get Huffer out of this and he just runs in, like that's even worse than him just pinging his own guy. Why we keep the deadly shot? Up to six mana. Yeah, we need we need damage and we need it fast. Now you wish you'd crush and rag. Yeah, in a matchup like this, they're they're better. Uh, that's the thing with the uh, with this whole process, and actually, kind of why I, I like this deck, or like another reason I like this deck, is uh, you know, for now we've got stuff because like we played, you were there, you saw, we played like four thousand zoos in a row. It was just crazy. Um, oh, Kodo against. Doomsayer's so good too. I know we have another deadly shot. The bigger body's good too. Yeah, let's just take it. Um, yeah, like we played against so much zoo that I just feel like we need those changes and it's uh, very rare that we play against freeze mage, so. Well, I just realized that's like a blood filling up card. God damn, that's cool. It's an early Antonitis, but mirror image is kind of a problem. Oh, maybe. No, he doesn't have a freeze. Okay, we good. We good. So we... Do we... Do we run out the Kodo? Okay, like I know we do this. 
No question. We could hit Deadly Shot, or we could Coda and do it. If he's got a second Doomsayer... I don't know, it doesn't matter, fuck it. If he's got a second Doomsayer, he's got a second Doomsayer. Uh, I haven't lost a single game against you with the old list. Yeah, we didn't, but we only played like two or three as well. I, I think even against like Druid, I like having these early bodies. Who knows, maybe it's a mistake, but... I feel like uh, with the changes, it's it's good. Yeah, no Alex yet. Speak to me. We need to draw. We have the option to swing at this thing. I feel like we should. Still got a chance to draw into another another bow. Let's draw. we get that down for damage. There's a chance that we proc if he can't freeze again. I think he's got one Frost Nova left. Okay, Flame Strike. Ah, this is uh, not looking great. Yeah, it's too bad. I always like with uh, with Warrior just getting a free win against Freeze Mage. I feel like we're maybe dead here if he's got Frostbolt, Double Ice Lance. Another flame strike. Oh. No need to even play it. Ah. All right, not expecting to face too many, uh, too many more freeze mages, though. Oh. 
This is what we expect. Tough. I love the pyro. It's too bad we don't have coin. Love the tracking traps. I feel like it's good to keep. Alright, so I guess we don't play the track in turn one here. Alright, here's here's what we want. We want a pyromancer tracking into explosive trap. And then we got the bow that we can charge you up. This thing is going to be pretty annoying, especially if it gets buffed again, actually. Though I'd rather it than, than the dog. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's got to be still. Ooh, no explosive. It's all good. I feel like we code out. It's a bit of a tough one. Sinjin's a nice turn four play. I'd also like to have it, but we don't have much for five, and if we play Kodo on five, that could be awesome too. Oh, I don't mind that. Okay. Hoffer is really bad if we get it, so I think it's gotta be bow. Hit the one with more max health. Oh, I want to do it. I want to do it so bad. Do I do it? Because if I code out, I take out the taunt and like hit something with the bow, I feel like we're just dead. I feel like we need an explosive. So good. And I don't think we swing at the 1-3, but it's actually kind of tough. The extra bow charge is nice, but it's not necessary. Like, the worry is if he ends up buffing this afterwards with, like, a Shattered Sun or something, then maybe I regret not swinging. But we still have an opportunity to Kodo. swing there. Nice. We love Misha. God, these games against Zoo are just like... Gonna make my heart stop. They're always so close. This is actually a little tough as well. If 
we've got a few options. I don't think we Kodo this thing. But my worry with Hound Mastering Misha is that uh, if he runs an owl, suddenly he can like soul fire our face and then hit with the golem. It's like we've got nine damage here. You get two extra there. I think it's better. I think it's better to diversify. Do this. Even like a, uh, a Doom Guard could have hit that and then he runs in. Seems better. We've got 14 damage. If we draw a bow, build your own Ancient of War. Okay, that looks like a Soul Fire. A Soul Fire out. Look, look at this shit. We're fucking oracles here. Oh my god. Incredible. <laughs> Coded this and Hound Master next turn? Ah, we would have been. Would have been so dead. God damn. It, I swear. I, I said this in like an earlier stream at one point that I swear some you would not have died because you wiped the board. If what? You Kodo. Kodo and Hound Master next turn. I guess if you if you swing Misha into the golem, that's true. If you swing Misha into the golem and clear that way, that's true. But then the game goes on. Yeah, I said before, like I feel like some some decks in this game just always get the draws that they need. And Zoo is one of those. It's like... I mean, I know you get more cards drawn, but it does feel like... Uh, yeah, they just always have the cards that they need. Man... I really want to go with like the pyromancer set up a deadly shot next turn. There's no way he lets it live though. There's no way. Yeah, Zigo always has a good curve. Uh, if you just play eight one drops, your top decks at six man, it just suck. For sure that's the case. Alright, we need track. Or Hunter's Mark. Ah, oh, that's fine. Um, yeah, for sure that's the case, but it always just feels like they have the right thing. Like, they always have the Soul Fire, they always have the, the Owl. They've got Argus when they need it. Chat, that stream, you're playing this deck right now? Yeah. All thanks to Suck Rasta. You could try his earlier, uh, Earlier versions as well. Replace Harrison with the kill command. I actually like the exclusion of kill command. I thought that was a really smart thing to do. This is great that he's letting me get bow charges. Um, but yeah, depends how much rogue... Oh, fuck. I'm fucking at my camera. Depends how much rogue you're facing. Because Harrison is awesome against rogue. Now, I don't know. Does, does anyone know this? Because if this secret procs, we get a charge. But if I swing, and then this is explosive trap, does this break, or do I go back to 3-1? Because it has to be an explosive trap. You get the charge before breaking? Perfect. That's what I figured, but... Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, it feels like cheating. Thanks, Akrasta. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, it's so good. We still might lose. I mean, he can push a lot of damage, but... Fuck, that's funny. Yeah, finally gives up. I don't really know what he was, uh, what he's waiting for. I hope he just drops a bunch more weak shit and we can explosive trap it. Oh my god, so good. Ah, too bad. We don't get the guaranteed deadly shot. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you could Kodo the 1-1, one, one. you can send in Hero Power or drop the trap. Oh, what if you... Do you have a clever Pyromancer play here? No, one more mana you do. Pyromancer, Explosive Trap. It's still not bad, though. Pyromancer, Explosive Trap. And you can actually kill Misha if you swing. Hmm. Problem is, then, if he swings face... Yeah. I don't know, maybe you just Sanjin. Sanjin and follow it up with an explosive trap. I think we'll do that. Ah, would've really, yeah, would've really liked to deadly shot the, the Misha, but no well. We can Harrison that. The light protects me. Oh, Jesus. Well, okay, let's think. Do we want a Harrison it? Because, again, we can Pyromancer Explosive Trap, which is great, but then we can't Harrison. He's pushing five. If you just explosive trap, hero power. The other thing is then he just hits for the... Yeah, losing Harrison to a 4-1 is really bad. It's just we're, we're on low life, and that's why I'm... It, it's reducing three damage. That's what Harrison's doing. Harrison is like a shitty earthen ring fire seer. That's kind of what it ends up uh, ends up doing. I think though because we push three damage with this play, it's better. Because you get through the taunt. You can also hit the 1-1. One, one. He gets another unleash, or another hound with that. I don't know if it's correct. I didn't think that through. But I don't care about hitting it. Because, yeah, it's just going to die to the explosive trap anyway. Hey, this is not bad. I, I should have played the crowd. Kill commands. Hmm. If you drop that, you buff it. Yeah, I have to set up lethal next turn. I agree. This is 4 7. We don't even need that. If he's got like Unleash, Hunter's Mark, he runs, he's got one, three, he's gonna need some kind of weird kill command thing. But yeah, we should have played the craft the previous turn. 
No, 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 no. Oh, don't do it. Don't be mean, guy. Oh, wow. We win? Could be a misdirect. <laughs> if it's a misdirect, we want to flood the board. Could be a snipe, too. I hit this. Oh my god. So sad. So sad. Could have won if we played the croc earlier, I think. That's our bad. And then we got unlucky there. 50-50, I guess. Unfortunate. The fact that we're not fighting any Miracle Rogues, I'm just looking at the list to see if I'd make any changes. Sentients have been okay. I'm really happy with the extra freezing trap. Like, as soon as I put it in, especially when we're playing off stream, it's really good against Druid. Sentient's been okay. I wonder if Harrison could... Oh my lord. I wonder if he could go for a, uh, like another code over something. Yeah, I don't know if he would load up on kill command either. I feel like we explosive trap this. And tracking and look for something bigger. Fuck. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my god, that's so bad. I guess you go for that. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you really want both hunter's marks here. Okay, and this is the smaller variety. Interesting. Um, <laughs> Huffer here is not good. I'm actually tempted to freezing trap this. Five mana golem, he's almost never going to play. It's kind of like killing it. I think I'm going to. He's not going to play it for a while anyway. Akagi. Hey, fans, your YouTube the other day? We just played the Hunter Mirror. Oh, okay. So if the unfortunate RNG think you deserve to win that one. I don't know if I deserve to win it. The RNG gods said, uh, said I did not deserve to win it. So, no, it's all good. GG. Forgot the Eagle Horn gains charge from enemy secrets. You should have lost. Man, I, I had to, uh, I had to ask the stream if I was gonna, gonna get a charge when I swung at your explosive trap, so... You know, I think I'm I'm just as unworthy to win that as you. I think you're being too humble about it. But anyway, GG. Glad uh, 
Glad to see you came from uh, from YouTube, popped into the stream. And Ozon one first time catching the stream. Yeah, it went a little bit uh, a little bit earlier than normal just because of the the vaccination earlier. I think we are going to pyro hunters mark this thing. And I will admit, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting progressively shittier feeling. Oh right, that's a spell. Well, I'm an idiot. Didn't think about that being a spell. Yeah, starting to feel a little nauseous, getting sore, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, but a Kagi, you're more of a handlock player. Forgot some of the hunter nuances. Well, all is forgiven. You ended up with a W. That's all that matters. There's this innervated five mana harvest golem. Interesting. Uh, I think we just slam this down and push damage. We might even get card draw off of these. We'll see. Yeah, we haven't played much Hunter either. This is the first uh, first Hunter deck that I think we've played more than just like one or two games with here or there since, uh, since Classics come out. It's been a lot of fun. If you want something different, I highly recommend it. It's uh, It's been really, really good for us. Even though you, you kicked our butt with your hunter. For now it's had a yeah, crazy win rate. Ugh yeah, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Jesus. Maybe that's just because I'm playing Druid. Oh, just goes for the heal. Whoa, okay. I may have screwed up the uh, the animal companion, but I will not wild pyromancer my doggos. So what do we got? We got 9, 11, 13, 15, 17 if we hero power, right? So I feel like we just dropped this. Easy. Been playing Hunter with double deadly shot and double snipe to grief Miracle Rogues. It's done better than you'd expect. I can see that. I mean, we're running deadly shot. We've got some, uh, we've got some value off of that before. But I find I don't know what your experience has been, but I find. Uh, I don't know, in the last like week, every single day, it's just like a different meta. On Tuesday when we played, I, I'm not even kidding, if you like check the VOD, we played like seven zoos in a row or something like that. It was so crazy. Uh, out of the whole day, it was probably like 70% zoo. Today, we've got a few, but then like a couple days before that, all Miracle Rogue. Yeah, like over 50%, I'm sure, and today, none. It's like, I don't know. Tough to, uh, tough to tech some stuff in when you just, like, have no idea what, uh, what the meta's gonna be like that day. But I, I certainly have to admit that a deadly shot on a concealed gadget sand is just like, oh, oh, there's nothing better. I think we've only got to do it once or twice with this deck, but... Hopefully one day, again. Oh, Wolfang. This is our good friend, Wolfang. We beat him, uh, we beat him with this deck before. Yeah, Diamond Meta is like 70% Druun Zoo with some Miracle Rugs. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Tech Handlock with Black Knight and Sunwalkers to have a better matchup against Druid and got to Legend. Nice. Yeah, that's what we had to do, uh... So we had to do last season. We were playing Warrior. And then, uh... Yeah, I just got stubborn through in a couple Sunwalkers and it was like a breeze to get through the Druids all of a sudden. And hopefully he doesn't have War Axe, but what would the odds be? 
Um, oh wow. But yeah, then we tried playing the same warrior deck uh, this season. And it was like no druids. It was just all these uh, all these annoying zoos. And, uh, you know, we, we like cut one of our brawls. And yeah, just can't, uh, can't have that. I think we do deadly shot this. This is too awkward to run into. We could bow and swing. But I actually just like the momentum from Deadly Shot. Uh, Control Warrior is really bad versus Druid. The, the list that we ended up running, because it's tech so heavily against Druid, we had like a really favorable win rate. It's got like double Twilight Drake, double Sunwalker, and the Black Knight. Um, but we're not running Whirlwinds, we're only running a single Brawl. So it's like not nearly as good against... Um, not nearly as good against Zoo. But we just, yeah, we were facing so much more Control Warrior that it was fine. Er, Control Warrior, uh, Druid, sorry. Okay, I think we do this, and then we bow, swing, hero power. Yeah, I think so. I think this guy's had an unfortunate draw. I just don't want to extend into Brawl too much. But if he drops any weapon, I'm comfortable Harrisoning. I don't think we, we go for the greedy gore hell. Oh, nice. Well, I've been sealing the Twilight Drakes and Control Warrior. I, uh, I want to claim ownership for that, but... I actually played a guy who, who ran at least one drake and I was like oh it's genius and then I started doing it so it was not me first I think we just do this Sanjin you use drakes and control warrior thanks to me there we go see we're we're changing the meta one person at a time It's actually been really cool, like the the tiny little community that we've got here. We've actually had a bigger impact than I expected. Like this old thing guy that we're playing now, he added us after a game because he's like, hey, I saw you on YouTube. And now we got Akagi in here. And you're just like the swellest dude coming in and being like, hey, GG. Does anyone else stream classic? I stream it sometimes, but you're the only person I've seen. I don't look for more people who stream classic just because I don't really have that much time to watch streams beyond what I kind of already enjoy. Uh, just trying to get a bow. That's fine too. Um, so I'm not aware of anyone else. I think I'll just do that. So I kind of think I just uh, I think I kind of just win by default. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm that great of a streamer. I just... Uh, I'm the only one who does it, so you guys are stuck with me. And thanks for the follow, by the way, Akagi. Honestly, I really appreciate your content. Not that many content creators for Classic. It is unfortunate. Well, it's unfortunate for other people, but, you know. Great way to capitalize for me. I think we do Hunter's Mark this thing. I don't want to screw myself with the Pyromancer play. What do we have that we've got four? If this is Huffer, it's nine. If we just roll a Huffer, we win the... Because then you unleash on top of it. Dick. Um, I still think you unleash, actually. We'll do that. Yeah, I'm just happy that people like uh, like watching Classic. I really hope that these... This is going to be a brawl. YOLO brawl. Yeah. I really hope that these Classic tournaments pan out. Because if people... If people enjoy those, I'm just going to do the crap out of them until... Uh, until people are sick of Classic altogether. Uh, do you even have to trade there? You don't have to. 
so if you don't trade there, you push a little bit of damage, but you've got another thing on board for Brock, his Grom kills your Misha, it's like, I don't know, probably about the same either way. Yeah, Grom is just stuck at 4 attacks, so it kills Misha, but maybe it's fine too. You're doing tournaments, I would answer. Yeah, that's the plan, I'm gonna do a... Uh, I'm gonna do some tournaments with like classic cards, but I'm gonna put deck building restrictions in there. I'm I'm either going to start them so none of this is official, nobody take it as official, but the current plan uh is gonna be to either start them on the twenty second or the twenty ninth. I think I'll be doing like noon ish MST so uh people from the EU can join as well. And uh can't make the 29th? Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I think that's going to be the best day to do it. Oof. Oof. We'll, we'll do that. But these are early, early speculation plans. Um, and yeah, I just want to put in like deck building restrictions. So it's not like the same classic decks that we've all seen. It's not like I'm going to enter with Miracle Rogue and I'll enter with zoo and whatever it's just that's too boring for me because uh, yeah i just i think the classic set and the older sets are just so good that if you just have like the tiniest bit of restriction it forces tons of new deck building uh i don't know prowess and then my god that could just be so much fun and then if i can make it a consistent thing that's what i'm hoping I either do it uh like weekly or bi-weekly or something like that and just hammer it out time and time again well played. thanks man i guess i can say thanks if you just took out leroy it would have a huge effect yeah exactly and and that's even just like you know one one tiny thing i think that's the biggest bit is getting rid of uh si yeah just getting rid of how much um, combo there is in general. I guess we tracking here. I kind of feel like a freezing trap would be good with this hand. Kodo is not good in this matchup. Explosive is not great, but for the bow charge, it's pretty big. I think I'll take it. Allow ultimate infestation. At some point, I, I would like to bring in like a handful of the newer sets, like some, uh, not like real new stuff, but like some Nax or some GVG or something. But again, still with some restrictions. If you ban Leroy, Force Nature, and Soul Fire, that'd be interesting. Yeah, e even just that would be enough, just simple bans. I don't want to give away what I have for my, uh, uh, oh, he's gonna, Three hero power though. Nice. Yeah, I don't want to give away what I have for the, the first idea. Just because I don't know when the tournament's going to be. So I don't want anyone to have a head start. Nice. I think that'll be useful. But yeah, I'd like to do some that are a little bit more extreme. That are like, you know. There's a there's a big restriction, and then I would like to do some that's a little more closer to what you're talking about, Akagi. Just like grab a handful of cards, ban them, maybe even ban a class. Like I've been thinking, there's some really interesting things you could do, but you literally have to ban Warlock because it's like they're just way too good at at I don't know taking even just shitty neutral cards and using their hero power. They're they're incredible. Okay, that's good. Means he probably doesn't have a gadget in. Not bad, not bad. High main's not amazing here, because we could get sapped, but we don't have that many better plays, so. Unfortunately, he's used the best counter to Druid and Handlock. 
is the best counter to miracles. I don't know how much banning warlock else. Yes, yeah, sorry, not not just like ban warlock and that's it, but I mean, uh, oh, this is a sap, isn't it? But I mean, if we put on some restriction, like uh, I don't know. Again, I don't even really want to hint at it. Uh, then I think on top of that, you would have to ban Warlock because there's so many things that they can just be like, oh, I can't use these cards. That's fine. I'll just use these 20 other neutral cards and still build Zoo. It's like, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. But yeah, I would I would love uh, with a few tweaks if you could. I think it would actually push people to play like priest and paladin, which is so exciting. Tournaments with those classes, ugh. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, without another gadget saying right away, which I really don't think he has. I don't know how he wins this. He's burned one of this, right? If he goes for a huge Edwin, we just Hunter's Market. I guess he could Edwin and Conceal, potentially, since we did use a Deadly Shot. Uh, I've gotten easy wins on Handlock with Miracle. How do you play that matchup? Well, I assume that's a, an Akagi question, because I, I actually couldn't answer that. Oh, he does have the other gadgets in. What? That is unexpected. Andy conceals. Whoa. I think we might unleash Houndmaster. I don't think we buzzard. We don't need the card draw. We don't need an explosive trap right away. Hmm. Yeah, because the explosive trap doesn't actually save you versus Leroy. He can play around it just fine. Um, but you do push a lot of damage with this. So I don't know if we save it or not. It's nice if you get rid of the Gaddison and then you run that out, but I guess he just swings with his hero power anyway. This might make him hesitant to swing with his Gaddison if he thinks it's freezing. Uh, Leroy would have been lethal with the Drake. Or three times Leroy, yeah, yeah. Okay, one shadow step there. Interesting. My eyes are open. Well, now he swings? Oh, that was a mistake. Might not matter, though. Double Leroy is still uh, pretty close to lethal. Is there any way we could get it this turn? We've got seven. If you're tracking for what? An animal companion. You can maybe bump that to 11. Nine or 11. Let's do this. I 
do like taunts though. Taunts are nice. I'm not entirely sure what we're looking for here. It's gonna be better than those. He might have another sap too, he's pretty deep in his deck. Ooh, starting to feel a bit better now, actually. A little surprised. Man, it's so awesome to just like see you guys uh, discussing strategy here. That That's one of the funniest things about me streaming classic that I find. There's a lot of people who watch who I think are a lot better than me. <laughs> uh, they're like high legend players. They play way more than I do. I play a tiny bit off stream, but usually it's just like testing. Or I'll win one or two games just so I am a little bit more excited to get in and play the next day. Okay. Well, he's got a strong turn. We can double Sanjin, though. This is not too bad. Oh, wow. Wow. All kinds of options. Because we could swing at the 3-3 three, three, double singe and freezing trap. Um, or it, you can. Like we need at least one singe up, right? He's probably got Leroy and another shadow step. And there's a very good chance that he does. I kind of feel like the double sand and freezing trap is the play, though. Because, like, the other worst case is that he Leroy's. Leroy gets picked up with the freezing trap. That's fine. Well, let's just do that. You could probably get high legend if you played enough, seem to understand the matchups and think out your turns. I mean, I don't think I'm a bad player by any means. I, I do think I could do, you know, get decently high legend. And we're going to try harder this season. Last season, we had, uh, we played a lot more silly decks once we hit legend. And I, I'd actually like to see how high we can get this, uh, this season. But, you know, I it just makes sense, right? People who are really passionate about classic, they're gonna all kind of congregate together. And well, if this is the spot that you're forced to go on the internet for it, uh, yeah, you're gonna get like the best players here, which is ah, that's just neat. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just too much fun to play those decks, and then on top of it, you get. Uh, you get people watching, people love to watch it, it's, I don't know, you get hooked on the, on the shitty decks. Oh yeah, and then conceal, oh no, he's just gonna do that, and then conceal, eh, that's not good, it's really bad, we might actually just lose to this. Um, because if he has Leroy, even if you deadly shot this, he just lead right into this, kills you. F, dude. Oh. Can't really do much. We know he doesn't have another sap. Yeah. Dang. Tough. You're Johnny at heart, but sometimes this game makes me a spike. I forget all the, the terminologies. I know that uh, 
know that there's all those names for, yeah, what types of decks you like to play, what type of player you are. Timmy loves big dudes. Okay, good for Timmy. Uh, Johnny's creative and Spike is tryhard. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I guess I'd be most closely a Spike. I, I was talking about this with one of the other viewers before. I forget who it was, but like, if I don't care about a game. I can enjoy it. I don't care if I lose. I, you know, whatever. Not, none of it matters. It's all, it's all just fun and games. I think we want a tracking for a, probably an explosive trap. Usually these are aggro. And, uh, but as soon as I start enjoying the game to a certain level, like, uh, 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 uh a hand master um yeah like with classic i didn't think i was actually gonna play it that much i thought it was just like blast from the past fun for a week kind of thing as soon as i start caring it's like i don't know something something flips in my mind there's some sort of uh switch there and then i'm like hyper competitive i, I have a like real competitive streak Eleven Leah today, man. Uh, you're try harder, but at the same time, usually very stubborn about the decks you like. And they're usually viable, but not the best. That's a lot of times where I'm at. I like being different. I just for the sake of it, I guess you know. It's uh, some part of me that thinks I'm I'm morally superior to everyone else just because I play decks that aren't like hyper meta decks, but. But that's why I want to... Uh, okay, well suddenly this is different. I don't know if explosive or freezing is going to be better. Because we've got this to deal with the dudes. Maybe we actually want to freeze him. Um, but we will swing. But yeah, so that's why I want to run the tournaments to force people to do different stuff. Also, welcome, Razador. Thanks. Thanks for the good luck. I need it today. Uh, is Control Warrior my favorite? It's a good question. Is it my favorite? It's up there. If it's not my favorite, it's very close to my favorite. I like decks with lots of decisions. So that aspect I like about it. And I like that it doesn't have like any unwinnable matchups, right? Uh, I don't know that it's you know, it's not favored across the board, but it's at least close to like 50% in uh, in most matchups, so. Yeah, I feel like when I win, I earned it, and I feel like when I lose, oftentimes you're outplayed or you had a, you know, you had an option to, um, to do well. This is probably just gonna get Aldor, maybe Humility, but a Houndmaster to make it like a 3-7 still not bad. Going face is a decision. It is. It's a fun decision, too. I, I actually like Hunter a lot. I'm so happy to have, like, a, a way more control-oriented Hunter list here. Because I, I actually do think it's, like, a very fun class to play. Ooh, this is a tough decision. Um... The problem is if I houndmaster this thing and just smash him in the face, it could get BGH'd. However, if I houndmaster and I smash him in the face, it does 8 damage. But you could play it like really slow, you could like buzzard unleash, you could just drop another high main. If you drop another high main and he qualities it's really bad if you don't trade the poo poo I think you actually draw here uh, but then we're like tracking into our deck that's doo doo 
You get the two damage there, but you don't have a four three on board. You know what? I think this is the play. I don't want some equality shenanigans. There. Uh, control board. Oh, fuck me. Control Warrior is really well designed in the early sets because controlling there's lots of threats so it's fun to play against. Yes, totally agree. When it became more of a fatigue deck, I enjoyed it a lot less. Yes, 100%. 120 million percent. It got really, really silly and it went like super, like build up a million armor and also like have all the weapons in the world and so it's never a problem. I know Freezing Trap on this is like not the greatest thing in the world, but I think we are going to do it here. God, I don't know. There's so much we could do. I could even croc for a card. But I want to push damage. I want to push all the damage. I, I think we're just going to do this. Let him be GH. I don't care. Uh, I think you kill the Acolytes, you probably want some Peacekeeper to Hymen. Uh, yeah, I wanted to kill the Acolyte at least for the equality shenanigans. Didn't like that. And Zarl HS finally caught you live. Loved your content, brother. Take my follow. Well, thank you for the follow. Thanks for being here live. This is, uh, we're happy to have you. So if he's got to consecrate, it sucks. But we still have two two twos on board. Once they added tank up, which one is tank up? Was that the uh, was that like the Justicar or whatever that boosted your hero power? So it was like four armor. Because if if that's what you're talking about, yeah, that thing was crazy. Yeah, that one, okay. Yeah, that thing was uh, pretty annoying. I don't think we buzzered even with this. I think you just high main. Do this. You've got the answer to, uh, to Tyrion. You get this, this, this. I mean, he's just dead, really. But There's a warrior deck to standard a few years ago. There's 29 removal cards in the Dr. Boom hero. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, when do you think Nax drops? They they haven't said anything, right? Like, if they're going to. Because if they roll out Nax, my guess would be that they just do it at the next expansion. Yeah, Justicar was crazy. I liked it with Paladin, where you could get, like, two one ones. I thought that was a really, like, cool concept. What do we got here? Oh, easy, easy, not Misha. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my god. All right. All right, Misha. We hate you. Well, we're gonna hit here. We're gonna hit here. We could have rolled this out first, I guess, but I don't know. Uh, as a wild player playing classics, you know, things were back when I first started Hearthstone. Definitely shows a ridiculous amount of power creep and RNG. Yes. I think they really changed their design philosophies in a way that I'm not a huge fan of. And, uh, yeah, power creep was just like... I mean, it's crazy. Alright, this isn't bad, because we can actually run that in for two cards. Uh, and we still only have one equality, right? I think he's only played the one equality. Maybe I get a draw for this then. I've got so much stuff. Why not? If they release Nax, I hope they pre-nerf Undertaker. That's the problem. Yeah, if they do it, it's... Uh, I don't want to play against Undertaker. It's pretty much the only card that would really 
I don't know, bog things down, I think. Refreshing having wins needs some sort of good play instead of just play more busted cards than my opponent and generate more value. Totally agree. Basically taking all my favorite archetypes out of standard now. Is that right? Yeah, because I haven't really, uh... Haven't really followed standard for a while. Alright, deadly shot on either is good, right? Let me do some math here, though. If we run these in, we've got 8 damage. Okay. Fine. But if we deadly shot that, we've got 4, 8, 10, 13, 15, 16. Is there any way to guarantee it? We don't have a Kodo. I'm not missing something, right? Yeah, it's just... Cool. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, unless you like the rush mechanic and random generation, I'd skip it. Yeah, I've, I've taken like a peek at standard, and uh, it doesn't look fun. Does does not look fun at all. Very easy. Agreed, Razador. Agreed. Uh, can't speak for standard. Can say. Uh, can however say control decks literally can't exist in wild? Yeah, that makes sense. I played wild for one day. Uh, Grizzled Geezer, who comes by here a lot, is a big wild player. He always gets um, he always gets legend in wild, and he gave me some. And yeah, it's all like turn four or five insane combos. Standard is yeah, I agree completely out of control. Uh, played a lot, but I always just wanted to play Old Hearthstone. Yeah, same here. I kind of couldn't believe when they released it. I was like, this is perfect for me. Alright, now is this a coin croc turn? We had this before. Coin croc or wait on explosive till next turn, and then just throw down animal companion. Maybe we do wait. I really have to think about this. So I'm fine with like an abusive into it. Yeah, I know. Let's try waiting. Let's see how this plays out. I think it is more likely correct. It sucks if he gets a Void Walker out or a Young Priestess boost something, but it's really good if it's just this. Druid and Classic is almost as busted. I can't stand... Yeah, that's the thing. Some of the meta decks are just so not fun to play against. I don't like playing against Miracle Rogue. I don't like playing against Druid. I don't like playing against Zoo. Even Face Hunter is, like, super annoying, but it's not, uh... It's not, like, busted. Wow. Okay, this is interesting, too. So it's not like the greatest explosive trap turn, but it's not a bad one. Would we animal companion? I don't think so. I actually think you tracking explosive trap. You drop two crocs to turn after, which is very powerful. Mm, not great, but we'll take the hound master. Yeah, now that you can't don't play standard, it's a good call. We need an unleash for these squires, though. Leroy. Yeah, Leroy Shadow Step. Uh, Savage Roar, Force of Nature. Yeah, just all the combo-iness, right? I think we can all agree on that. All the combo-iness is just... Dookie, man. I like Zoo a lot, but I think a lot of people play it wrong, don't trade enough. For sure, at, at low levels, like... You see some of the worst, worst you play. Get a mortal coil here. Yeah, lots of just like hit and face. They think it's an aggro deck when it's a board control deck. And yeah, there there is a lot of strategy with Zoo. I just think it's too good. That that's my problem with it. I think it is way too powerful. I don't need the Houndmaster now. Let's, let's do this. I can Houndmaster next turn. 
taken 20 in a turn from Rogue or Druid. Yeah, can't stand it. Miracle Rogue, yeah, can't answer a stealth 4-4. Four, four. I guess you can watch me draw my entire, entire deck and kill you for 30. Sounds about right. Play the combo stuff in Handlock, but I think it's really silly that the deck has it. It feels cheesy and it doesn't really need it to win. Yeah, and, and in all fairness, it just doesn't feel as uh, as bad, right? I think we actually unleash Hunter's Mark here. I don't love this. Okay. Um, but yeah, because Handlock, at least it feels like you get to that stage through all the other kind of control measures, and it's... I don't know, it's a fun game. Handlock's a tough deck to play against. Um, yeah, it doesn't really bother me. Put on old Raynad streams uh, and play Zoo. His salty commentary in the background makes my experiences feel better. Yeah, it was fun. Um, Raynad did a couple streams coming back to Classic. It was pretty fun uh, watching. And, you know, he's got the same horrible RNG as always. Can't really play Jaraxxus in a burst meta. Yeah, Jaraxxus is such a weird card. It actually becomes oftentimes a... Uh, a win more card. I don't know if we can keep this. I don't think so. Often becomes a win more card because uh, nine mana and then ending on 15 health means you're dead to so much stuff. Like you have to have those taunts up generally beforehand. Even an empty board isn't good enough. Handlock sucks and they have double mountain giant to play against. But at least there's like like Hearthstone is just designed so weird. I've talked about this before, where they don't actually reward. Uh, they don't reward big stuff. They reward small stuff. Like the value from one mana is crazy versus the value from seven mana in classic. Like a Leprechaun one mana can do so much for you, whereas a. Uh, uh, did we just coin a Senge in here, or do we bow? I think we bow. Um, whereas, yeah, you're getting like a war golem for seven mana, and you can just kill it with like a one mana execute. It's very weird. So, there's those answers. There's BGH, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I actually wish that those bigger things were easier to keep alive. But, I mean, just like any matchup, you can get shitty, shitty draws against you, and it's kind of just auto lose. Handlock feels bad now. I remember it and Control Warrior feeling much better. I think people now days just know the game better, play around Giants better. I agree with half of that. Uh, give me a sec. Wish this was Freezing Trap. I think we do Deadly Shot this, though. Because we have a second. Oh. Sorry, I'm feeling really sick. <laughs> I might have to step away for a bit. Um, yeah, I think Control Warrior is still very, very good. But I agree that Handlock feels a little uh, a little weak. Okay, check this out. We pretend that this is Freezing Trap. Right, he totally believes it. You just do it really confidently and hope he doesn't swing. Um... But yeah, Handlock is weaker than I remember. I just think Warrior's super good. It's good, it's just hard to play. I'm also really bad with it, so I'm a bad measure. Yeah, see, we were so confident. He didn't even bother to do it. How good are we? And they just keep being really confident. Play really fast. It looks like you know what you're doing. Yeah, I guess Akagi, you can speak to it a lot better. You said you played a lot of Handlock. More in Legend when there's less Druids and more Rogues. It's the deck you've gotten highest with. That's really interesting. It, yeah, if you say you stream, like, I would love to uh, to check it out sometime. I'll, um... <laughs> this is where he finds out it's not freezing. <laughs> I love it. Oh, a Naturalize. Very cool. And he's going to heal with that? Okay. I think I do have to think a little harder here. We got 3, 6, 7, 10, 12, 
14. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. I don't think we really have to worry too much about it. We don't even need Harrison out. Maybe it's better. Uh, also, people activate the Moltens all the time. It's crazy how much people misplay against them. That surprises me. I feel like that's the one thing that people can play around the easiest. Like Mountain Giants, you know, you're going to get them out in the first few turns almost no matter what. But Nice. Yeah, Moltens are easy. Uh, love the trap bait. Did that all the time with Midrange Hunter. It's so satisfying. But you do have to be fast about it. If you're slow, they'll read into it 100%. I know I do the same. Uh, play to Zoo a lot as well. It's really not as good in your opinion. Uh, I don't think Zoo's as good, but I think it climbs really fast. Like if its win rate is, you know, 53% or like some 50 low percent, the games are just so fast that you climb really, really quick with it. At least up to Legend. But I can't see you getting like rank one legend with it or something. I don't think it's good enough for that. Um, it's actually really nice. If he's, uh, Kodo can be so good in this matchup. Sanjin was so good last time. I'm gonna keep it. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I know Control Warrior is still good, but it feels less. That's interesting. I don't know. Feels less dumb in it than it did in the original meta. I guess I had a luck, a lot of luck with it last season. That maybe I'm kind of biased, but I, I felt like it was really good. Um, people just know how to pilot Miracle Rogue and Druid better. I think that that's definitely true, especially for Miracle Rogue. I I do remember people having a lot more trouble playing the deck than I feel like they do now. Uh, basically, more players, more experience, and a more insane meta. I mean, some decks that were oppressive aren't as good. Yeah, I think that's accurate. I would say that's accurate. I guess we deadly shot this. We can Hunter's Mark something later. We can also Freezing Trap. But if we Freezing Trap, we have no follow-up. I'd rather do this. We could actually Bow Coin Freezing Trap next turn. Uh, every zoo player activates Moltens for zero against me. That's crazy. Really interesting. Now how about... Conceit. That's also pretty good. Okay, I'm not in a rush to get the bow out. I think Sinjin's gonna be better. Do these two maybe coin high main? But I doubt we coin high main. I bet we're freezing trap against anything it does. Maybe a hunter's mark if it's a big taunt. Not sure what we do against Druid or the Claw. But he didn't have it last turn. Interesting. Well, we get to be fast with it this time, but we actually have it. Uh, hey Dex, did you know versus report? Versus report did a classic meta report. I've been seeing mid-range shamans run more library. I don't know what versus report is, so no, I didn't didn't know that they did that. Um Sorry, one sec. I think I know the play here. We could Animal Companion or we could Coin Houndmaster. I like Coin Houndmaster. I think this is good. Vicious Syndicate. Never heard of it. I think I'm out of the loop on that stuff. 
Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that they did that, but I. We actually started today with two shamans, and I think they were both running a list that looked like that, like a. Uh, what would you call it? Yeah, more mid-rangey lava burst thing. I think they both showed it versus me. So, yeah, maybe that's uh, working its way into the meta. What do we do here? This is actually well done by him. We could actually 50-50 the deadly shot. I don't like it, but it's an option. If we hit the Black Knight, I think we do just win the game. Uh, what happens if we just go all face? He gets the Black Knight picked up. He hits, and then we just lose. Yeah, game's easy. Yeah, maybe I'll check that out. Uh... The, the vicious syndicate thing at some point just see what exactly uh, you mean okay this isn't too bad we can still run Harrison out and push damage God, it'd be so funny if that was like a misdirect the whole time. Funny how Shaman was clunky and underrepresented back in the day, but now people have the brain power to make it competitive. Too bad Priest is still a meme. Yeah, Priest is still really bad. I, I can't imagine there's a, a real viable list. But I honestly believe it includes Mind Blast. That's my my belief. Um, but I think... So I, I heard this... Funny, we were talking about Raynad earlier. I watched one of his classic streams, and this sort of rings a bell, but I don't know how true it was because I never experienced it myself. But he said that on the Asia server, um, mid-range shaman was like super popular uh, because Zoo didn't exist yet. And then once, like everyone was playing mid-range shaman, it was very, very good. Oh wow! And then once Zoo made its way over there. It was like a complete shift. It, you know, destroyed mid-range shaman, and, and that was it. About well, really risky, but I don't know if he gets punished here. I don't know how we get three damage. Tanta crocolisk, drop a high man. Probably Tanta crocolisk. I'm guessing he's just setting up for combo, right? Let's see, I think we just do this. Hope we don't get blasted. Yeah, I think it's some sort of combo control list with Velen. Yeah, something like that. We even tried doing something goofy with a gadget sand uh, for card draw and stuff. And I don't know if there's any merit to it at all, but it's a cool experiment anyway. With that magic 14, time to die to combo. No, nah, no. Nah. Look at that beefy crocolisk, dude. He's not going to let us die to combo. Problem is, he can actually run stuff into here and face, and if Rag hits face, we still lose. Wow, I'm surprised he's not doing it. Face! Oh my god. I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can see that. I think the Shaman vs. Zoo match was more balanced now than then. Uh, people are aware of Zoo's playstyle. Lightning Storm Earthshock on the right targets more frequently. Oh, wow. This game is not over. I guess I should have kept the bow. Maybe? No. Because I could draw into bow. Um. Let's see what he does. I guess he hits the 2-1, right? No. 
Doesn't even matter. Oh, it does, right, because you can armor it. Poop. Yeah, I, I find that matchup comes down to... Uh, oh, so sick. We're the best. It comes down to whether or not you get Lightning Storm very, very often. So... It's like... I, I don't know if it's balanced or not. Like, I, I haven't played enough to actually be able to say. But... Uh, It's definitely like a, if you get Lightning Storm, you're totally in the game. If you don't get it, it's really, really rough. But then even that, it just feels like way too RNG for me. Because sometimes you get Lightning Storm, sometimes you don't. And then even when you get it, sometimes you're not rolling high enough on it. It's, it's, uh, it's just frustrating to play against. But yeah, may, maybe the win rates are kind of even at this point. I'm not sure. I, I would have to uh, see more, play more to, to know. But that's every deck versus you. It's a good point. I mean, almost every deck has that uh, that problem. Though this one actually has been quite consistent. I think we've only lost once to Zoo since playing it. Lightning Storm's the worst design card in the game. Two, three rolls. So fucking dumb. I mean, Lightning Storm was the worst design card in the game. How about Crackle, my man? Crackle. Oh my god. God, three to six spell powers overload three. Your stupid overload trog thing. Oh my god. Yeah, but shaman's undervalued. Mid range shaman's legit. Oh, I totally agree. I think it's very, very good, and I think it's really good against everything else. I think, uh, I think its worst matchups are the most aggressive ones. So I think Zoo is a tough one, and. Face Hunter's a tough one. But, uh... But anything, like... Anything else that's mid-rangey or controlly, I think it does very well against. I'd say Overload in general was a trash mechanic and really dumb for the Shaman identity. I agree. I don't like it. I think it's pretty stupid. Uh, mid-range Shaman still loses to Druid a lot. I think it's, like, a fine matchup, though. I don't, even if it's not favored, because again, I, I don't play enough, I couldn't, couldn't verify one way or another, but I'd have to say it's like, it's got to be around that 50-50 mark, no? Well, double wrath, it's actually annoying. Part of me wants to buzzard here for the one card. I don't think we do, though. Could have also done a freezing trap to pick this up, but I think this is okay. I'm guessing he's very token-oriented. The only way he's not token-oriented is if this is a miracle druid or like a... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We do this. Get like... Innervates all that kind of crazy shit. Then we can dump this out. Ooh, with the hunter's mark. Baby. Easy. <laughs> Razador, you crack me the fuck up. Maybe we should be pushing face, but I don't want him to do Power of the Wild. I like Razador just chills in chat. I feel like you've typed easy into chat, and your finger's just hovering over the enter key, and you're like, do it, do it, make the play. Can we get punished for high man? Can we get punished for croc? <laughs> It really does. It genuinely makes my day. Maybe we just Eagle Horn Sanjin. I like that better, actually. The legendary disguise here, right? 
Yeah, I think we're just gonna do this. You can get the charge off of this, even if it doesn't pick up much. Yeah, see, high main to me, this is what a six mana card should be. Like, this is what, like, all six mana cards should be. Or maybe, like, maybe tune down a little bit. But, you know, like, it's super, super strong. But, like, compare this to War Golem at seven. Or, like, Core Hound. Or, like, any of those just, like, garbage late game things. It's like, what were they thinking? Boulder Fist Ogre is, like, the best one. And it's just a vanilla six, seven. Okay, so we could run that out, get a 4-5, no I don't like it, I like this, this with the hero power I think. I uh, remember how Dr. Boom is considered game breaking and now it never sees the light of day. No, I didn't even know it never saw the light of day now, but uh. I certainly remember how, yeah, game break, it was, like, it was in every deck, you're running an aggro deck, a mid-range or whatever, like, you could run Dr. Boom in Zoo for Christ's sake, and it was fine. But that's a card that, like, power level-wise, uh-oh, power level-wise, I was fine with it, but, uh, design-wise, it was just like, god, what a horrible card. What do we do here? There's a lot we could do. If you run in here and you deadly shot Freezing Trap, that is really good. Yeah, let's do that. This is nine, right? He has to innervate it out. Oh, he you can't even innervate. If it's 11, like, he just can't play it, right? Might as well be dead. That's hilarious. Nothing wrong with a 7 mana 9-9 nine, nine with a potential 8 damage death rattle. You see, that's the problem. If if the... Say say the boom bots were, like, you know, deals... The death rattle was, like, deals 2 damage to the enemy hero. Or something like that. Then the card's fine. Then I have no complaints. But, uh... Oh, interesting. Uh, I was a bit slow hound master this turn might have been better. I was planning on hound mastering this coming turn and then smashing him in the face, but now I'm not sure. You can also hound master the high main, but he could be running BGH. Boom boss should just deal one damage. I mean, it should be, I, yeah, I just don't like the ranges. It's a, it's a random minion for random damage. It's like, ugh. Not a fan. Let's see, if he attacks the dag, it's picked up. Hmm. If we had Unleash or we had another secret, I'd be more tempted to do it the other way. I think we have to do this and hope he doesn't have BGH. Let's see. Random stone? Yeah. Little carried away. What nerfs happened with the next patch? Uh, I remember Undertaker. Was that the Gadget Sand one? I don't know. I'm surprised he's running Naturalized in this deck. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't remember all the other ones that came with it. Gadget Sand's right. That might have been the Starving Buzzard one as well. Where it became like a 5 man, a 3 2 or whatever. My goal into Classic is to win the board against Zoo, drop Nation of War, and see them cry. 
Well, hey, it's doable. It's a very, very strong uh, deck. And your goal is to draw Gadgets and Auctioneer by turn 5. Well, that's just guaranteed. That happens every time. Let's see. So we've got 7, 9, potentially 11. That's not great. He's got a million. See, Pyromancer Explosive Traps, very interesting. But I don't want to, because you, you can full clear with Pyro. Oh, if you double Pyro, am I stupid? Let me see. If you hit, you hit. Hit, hit, hit. Pyro, track, pyro, track. But do we want that or do we want to just chill? Okay. Uh, we do this. I feel like this is better, is it? Do we want to clear the board versus a wide druid? Yeah, I don't know. I panicked a bit there. But I feel like th the problem with doing a full clear is that he just hero power swings and then it's like, what was the point? But we do run the risk of power of the wild. So maybe we should have. Holy shit, this guy's the best. I don't know why he did it in that order, but okay. Oh my god. This is amazing. Wait, and we have pyros for more bananas? For Oh, oh my god. What are we doing here? Cuz we can equip another bow, we can go, do we track into we bananas? We have another freezing trap, right? Cuz I want more bananas. Yes. Oh, this is so good. This is hilarious. I don't... Hmm. I don't even need the bananas. It doesn't do anything, right? If you freezing trap Ecclesiastes, if you bananas, yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah, give me them bananas. This shit is B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Bananas. Now this is zero value explosive trap again? What are you talking about? This is a, uh, a two damage to face. This is a hero power explosive trap plus one charge. It's like a five damage explosive trap. Plus this guy's just throwing down more minions. I wonder if he is running combo in this, because this is such a weird list. Does he swing? <laughs> yeah, Harrison Jones, the sick Harrison Jones value. I think we hit Mookla though, right? Let him draw another card, I feel like that's fine. Taking five is fine. I can Harrison, Houndmaster, now or Hero Power. I think. See, he's probably got swipes. But I think running them both out is good. That belongs in a museum. I guess if he has a swipe, I should just single banana Harrison now. Imagine not running a two-card combo that hits for 14. I mean, as we talked about, some people, they're whatever, a Johnny, Timmy thing, whatever. They like to mix it up. 
Taken five is fine, famous last words. It's fine. Are we dead to double combo? Are you correct? No, but I don't want to die to double combo. Guys, I don't want to. No. Fuck, man. So sick. God damn it. <laughs> alright, alright. Well, that was our game, The Legend 2. So annoying. Alright, I'm gonna hit the washroom and cry uh, into some tissues for a sec, but I'll be right back. Yeah, five health matters. Um, I don't think it mattered though, right? If we uh, if we don't hit the mook club, we're still after anyway, right? Because it had three health. But sad either way. so exciting we're at 99 subscribers on YouTube so cool not like a hundred gets us anything yeah you're boned anyway that's right all right let's make it up versus this druid I'm like really trying to hit legend before I just start vomiting and ooh, I do like that I give up for the day but I don't know what do we actually keep here? Like, the Sengens have been so good in our starting hand. I really didn't think they were this good in this match, yeah. Uh, how's this deck do in the Control Warrior match? Seems like uh, you run out of shit fast. I think we've only played two games against Control Warrior. Uh, we did win them both. The thing is, you... I mean, you really want to win off of, like, high mains and, like, a taunted... Uh, River Croc, if you can. Um, yeah, typically, like, mid-range hunters do really well against Warrior, but this one's further on the control side, so... I'm not sure. I don't think there's been enough of a sample size to say that it's, uh, it's good or it's bad. I'm just gonna deadly shot this. But I, I feel like it's at least viable against them, you know. Okay. Now 
understand. Not about the quick explosive trap, but he innervated a Yeti. I think this is correct. I don't think I want to deadly shot it. I could see you doing it for tempo because you do have the hunter's mark and unleash pyromancer. But I'm not sure because to finish this off, I guess he could wrath it. I was thinking he would have to hero power. Uh, that's interesting, huh? Yeah, I remember the mid-range list pushing things like uh, Blood Hill, Savannah, or Tundra Rhino. Yeah, I mean, I think for the uh, do you actually really want to kill this thing with the uh, with the Pyromancer? I'm gonna do something weird here. I'm gonna do this and then probably this next turn. Yeah, I, th I think it's mostly just like high main if you get him, keep it in your starting hand. Harrison Jones too is is I guess good in the matchup. I don't think we utilize them, um, but yeah, you're just able to push a lot of damage. It's uh, a good deck and just like a good good hero power against warrior, you know. If he does hero power, it might mean we're keeping him from playing a lore. I feel like that's what he's debating here. Like, does he play it? Take the explosive trap damage. Now, it'd be nice to have one more mana here. But I think I'm comfortable just to... Oh, God, even better, dude. just gonna hero power but that's fine mm, excuse me Well, tracking. Ooh, I like another freezing trap, honestly. But you have to do it this way, then. Uh, you should get the deck tracker extension for Twitch and let me steal your list easier. Yeah, I don't like the the extension just for like my own usage. I feel like it's like. I like having the deck list off to the side here. I think that's cool. But I don't like any of the other stuff with it. Sweet. Let me just deadly shot. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if there's like ways to turn off all that other stuff, but... Yeah, we, we talked about this... Kind of when I was first getting started, a few people brought it up, and uh, there's kind of mixed opinions on it. But I really like having to remember what's in my deck, what's in their deck, all that kind of stuff. Alright, well. Not the sickest unleash play, but I do think it's still correct.
just used to being able to uh, do that deck everything at a minimum yeah yeah I don't know I'm, I'm not like a hundred percent opposed to it not like vehemently opposed to it but that was kind of my my reasoning for not doing it up until now so who knows maybe I'll flip on it Oh, I just really want to win two games. If I win here, I might have to just... Or if I lose here, I might just... Bail. Hit Legend tomorrow. Uh, face is lethal? No, because he gets one armor. Combo's actually really bad for us here. Oh, actually, it would have been fine because we still have the bow. Never mind. I must save oh. Oh, so sick. Unleash. Lisa? Tougher every time. Oh Fuck. <laughs> uh, never lucky. Yeah, we actually haven't been getting good animal companions today. Cut the card. Garbage. Uh oh, are we dead? Fuck. Oh my god. I actually knew that he had that in hand too, I suppose. What are we at, stars wise? Oh my god, I have to win three. I think we are. I think we're just gonna just cave and play Druid. We have like an eighty percent win rate with this deck. Uh, I don't I don't think we need to play Druid. I think we've lost because what, we lost those two and we lost one earlier. I think we've only lost three games with this deck climbing from like five to one, so no, it's good. I'm just uh, the the after vaccination effects are, are hitting me. I gotta get some food. I gotta get rid of this nausea. We'll be back tomorrow. Should be fine. Yeah, need more heart of the cards. That's all we need. That's all we need. Um, but yeah, appreciate everyone watching. It was a lot of fun having uh, a Kagi pop in, all that kind of stuff. I oh, just got your second shot today. Yeah, first shot for me today. So. Um, but this stuff always gets me. Flu shot got me pretty bad last year. This one, uh, yeah, it's catching up. I just, it was like 30 minutes before I, I turned on the stream that I had it. And yeah, gotta, gotta rest up, recuperate. But yeah, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow. We should be able to hit legend tomorrow. I would think, especially if we can keep up this win rate. The games are pretty fast. Um, uh, but we'll also be back on Saturday anyway. So if we don't hit legend tomorrow, uh, I'll push for it on Saturday as well be doing this deck and then once we hit legend i don't know maybe we'll just keep going with this see how far we can push it we'll see uh nice that is very nice zero yeah hopefully that's soon not uh not quite where i'm at but yeah i can't wait for that anyway yeah thanks a lot enjoy your night guys thanks on youtube twitch all that and uh yeah see you next time